actually got dressed when you guys did. Anyway, today we were doing something completely different. Not really completely different, but like something different from what I've never done on this channel before. We're doing reacting to HBCU confessions. But before we get started, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, because if you ain't subscribed to my channel, what are you doing? Click on the little bell thing at the bottom, let you know whenever I post and then you'll get notified. Now, into the video. So for you guys who do not know what HBCU Confessions are, they are a Twitter page on Twitter that caters to people who go to a historically black college, university, community, university, I don't know. That's what HBCU is, it caters to black people. I wouldn't recommend for younger people to be watching this, be only because, only because what they say on this confession page is really, really, absurd i recently found out one of my best friends was into girls and had a crush on me i turned her down now she's acting like i switched up on her for situations like this it's kind of hard because you never know how someone truly feels or that they might take your no as being disrespectful but like you have to honestly tell them like oh i'm not you you shouldn't have turned her down it's but well you should have turned her down, but you should have explained why you turned her down. So in her head, she thinks that you just don't like her. So obviously she ain't gonna talk to you. Just say you're not into girls and you're straight. Or even lying to you got a boyfriend. I don't know. So, always complaining that I don't spend money on them. This is college and most of the time we both some broke college students. So stop worrying about what I'm doing with my money and go and get your own bag. Sir, why are you spending money? If we're in college and we're focusing on a bag, then why date girls that go ask you for money? Okay, I guess. Would y'all be weirded out if your boyfriend was a pervert when it comes to you? I caught my boyfriend sniffing my panties and... And it was shocking but turned me on at the same time. Well, ma'am. According to what I've read here, you are also a pervert. Now this one says, oh crap, crap, no freaking laptop. Hold on. All right, I'm back. My boyfriend <laughs> in his sleep and I asked him who he was dreaming about and he said he doesn't remember. Who the <laughs> doesn't remember their dreams? This nigga. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't really know what to say about that. I stalk my boyfriend on social media whenever he's not with me. I even made a fake account. How many of us have fake accounts? Plenty. To watch all his homeboy stories whenever he goes to hang with his boys, just to make sure there's no females with him. Baby girl, this sounds like insecurity and you have no trust. And without trust in a relationship, there is no relationship. Like period. Is it bad if I'm willing to suck somebody at the financial aid office just to get my paperwork done. These niggas take their sweet time and I'm really about to transfer. This is from Hampton University, y'all. Hampton, remember that. But like for real, like how many of y'all would consider doing that if like, you know, your paperwork was all out of order and they was planning, planning to kick you out and cause you haven't paid for your financial aid stuff and you're not in your right classes. Exactly. I skipped school back in eighth grade to lose my virginity. Just like everybody else. <laughs> who? Everybody else? Who? Who everybody else? You must be everybody else. Like Tusi said, hey, you must be everybody else. I don't. Eighth grade? Are you like 13? That's a, that's definitely a boy. Sent this in, because in no way. No, this was a female. Yo, y'all wow. She said, I had an exam, but the dick was so important i took a zero and had to repeat the grade level because i was also following my other classes it was worth it because me and my nigga had bragging rights all year is this is this the standards we're going by repeat a whole grade <laughs> for some dingling bugging 
bragging rights all school year. Girl, everybody who was not this school or right. <sighs> what bragging rights? What bragging rights? You stay back after after eighth grade, you missed high school. So everybody there, the same people who who been looking up to you, you and now you in your day grade. Everybody else, they don't care. Ain't no bragging rights. In high school, you hoe. You the hoe. My mom tried to check me because I told her I dropped my high school friends because they didn't get the college life. Popularity is key. And they didn't want to rush. Look cute for classes and just made me look bad. It's a shame they're missing out. They'll look back and regret they didn't have fun. Popular don't mean nothing when you into the real world. You bum. I don't know if I'm just overthinking things, but my friend asked my boyfriend if he had a younger brother. It sounds like flirting to me, but I might be tripping. What do y'all think? I think you are tripping. He asked if he had a younger brother for her. Everybody be saying stuff like that. Like, oh, do you have someone who will talk to me? Or do you have a sister that looks just like you? Yeah, no, that's flirting. <laughs> my boyfriend told me he wasn't ready to have kids. So when I found out I was pregnant, he left me because I wouldn't get an abortion after he baked me and tried to burn me. After all this happened, I found out he had two kids the whole time. Y'all are discussing kids while in college. It's not like y'all like graduated and like y'all have y'all lives together and settled down, but I understand like the whole conversation of having kids comes up. Doesn't mean that, oh, how would we, let's get pregnant right now and have a family while I'm in school. Who, I don't think anybody has that logic. Anybody who has their kid in college usually, it's not intended. Like they planning this. Like she wants her kid in college. But hey, go off, I guess. All these MFs trying so hard to cancel Tori. But if Chris Brown was to drop some music, you need to go listen. Yup. If you're gonna have that energy for Tori, give Chris Brown the same energy. We did. We did. He ain't care. Neither did Rihanna. So therefore, that's why the energy isn't shifted the same. Because Rihanna got over it, which means we should get over it because she's the one that got hit. So she is over this situation. We, too, as a community, should be over the situation. Now, since Megan got shot in her foot and she is not over the situation, therefore, we cannot be over the situation because the situation hasn't been resolved and concluded in the way that she would want it to be. So therefore, we, as a community, are upset with Tori at the same time. I have been messing with this cue for a while and we first started talking. They, they there, huh? They was, there was no girlfriend, but now there is. We still mess with each other to this day. And now I want to break it off with him. Should I tell him his girlfriend or keep a secret? Girl, you should have been in the dirt. You should have been in the dirt and I felt as though you shouldn't. Tell the girlfriend, especially if he hadn't done anything to like upset you, obviously you're not upset over the fact that he had the girlfriend because you're still messing with him. So therefore, I thought as well you should keep it a secret because now you, if you like tell the girlfriend, now you're just trying to ruin a relationship that could have been fine. You feel me? Not saying that it's right, because it's not right. I'm just saying it would have been fine. I knew he wasn't for me when he said, you're really pretty. But I don't want to say it too much so it don't go to your head. What's you not for me moment? This my not for me no moment is when when the guy asks, oh, why do you wear weave? Or like, oh, you would be so much better if you... If I want me, bro. We were hanging out and then his ex came back into the picture. And then he for real stopped talking to me and got back with her. First of all, what's the backstory behind this? Because... He just like jumped us right into the middle of this. Like we, like we were supposed to know what happened before all of this. A few months later, she broke up with him and he's talking to me again and asking me out. I'm a bit hurt by his earlier, his early action. Should I give him a second chance? Baby, no. Baby girl, no. What? what why is that even a question? I had this guy friend who was super friendly and he tried to flirt with me. I told him, I told him I find him ugly. Now every time I try to speak to him, he just either ignores me or is highly rude to me. I would be too. Heck, someone call me ugly. 
What's wrong with you? Look, he ain't bopped you in your face, girl. Y'all play too much. Okay, so that's it. End of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please comment down below. Let me know. And see you next time I post because you know I am not consistent. Bye.